Let's see how much people paid for their tickets that they didn't even get to use. How much did you guys spend? 15,000. Oh I'm so sorry. Yeah. 15,000? Yeah, I bought six tickets. Y 3,000 más y no nos dejaron entrar. $9,000. ¿Ustedes pagaron por boletas? Sí, claro. ¿Cuánto pagaste? En las cuatro boletas, $7,800. ¿Cuánto pagaste? $1,200 por cada uno. ¿Por cada uno? $1,000. ¿Y usted? $2,000. $2,000. Sí. Todo, tres mil dólares el ticket. Tres mil dólares. Sí, con Comebol. Pagamos entre los tres, tres mil dólares. Desde abril. How much did you guys spend? Including the fees, about three grand. This is crazy. Cinco mil doscientos. Cinco mil doscientos. Fifteen hundred, waste the money. Waste the money, you guys. ¿Cuánto pagaron? Mil cuatrocientos. Fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred? Two thousand dollars. It's about a thousand eight hundred. How much did you pay for tickets for a game you couldn't even go to? $10,000. Get out of my face. <laughs> Why do you think men care about a woman's body count? Do you? People actually care about that shit? Men in general. <laughs> if a man is fucking asking me a body count, he can get fucked. Who gives a fuck? Oh my god, that's so stupid. People actually ask that shit? Yes. You Okay, well then you're talking to the wrong man. If a man is ever asking you about your body count, you're talking to the wrong man, and he can get fucked. Like, that's so fucking stupid. So, get fucked. So, can I ask you this then? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, what do you think about the analogy, if one key can open many locks, it's known as a master key, as opposed to if you have a lock that can be opened by any key, it's a shitty lock. I think that if a, if a woman is an analogy to you, then you're not fucking ready to be talking to a woman. And you should probably get fucked. So, if a woman is the key to you, talk to your mom. Talk to your sister. Talk to your cousin. I don't know. Get a real fucking life. And get fucked. Thank you. And a woman is not a key. Thank you. As a lineman, this is a message for Texas, specifically Houston, Texas. What the hell are you guys doing right now to the men who came down, who left their families to come help you? Let me give you some examples. I'm going to have to be choicey with the words so TikTok doesn't ban me for it. But let's just start it off. The first thing I want to say is there's two linemen in the hospital right now after being given waters by the public that were laced with fentanyl. How sick is that? Second, there's been multiple explosive threats where staging areas and areas where linemen sleep have had to be evacuated. OK, there's been multiple situations where pew pews were pulled on linemen. Today, there was 20 linemen held hostage by pew pews. There's been linemen beaten up. There's been linemen jumped. There's been linemen cussed at, yelled at. Guys, this is sick. And let me go ahead and tell you, there's linemen leaving right now. And there's linemen that will never be back to Texas. And let me tell you, I'm one of them. You'll never see me, Houston. You can enjoy your darkness if you want to treat people like this. You're stopping the people from working. They have to do safety shutdowns when you do this. You're extending your power outage. And you have no clue what's going on. You had 2.7 million customers without power. In six days, they have restored with only 250,000 power outages left. Do you realize how incredible that is? Usually when you reach the 3 million number, you're looking at people without power for four to five to six weeks, okay? They're doing incredible down there, and they're getting attacked. You know, the most dangerous part of the job of being a lineman is supposed to be the electricity, the thing you can't see. It's not supposed to be in the public. You guys need to do better, but in all honesty, I hope all the linemen leave and you guys sit in the dark, and then maybe you'll realize and have some respect. But this is ridiculous, and let me tell you, like I said, there's a lot of us, the next time this happens, you're not getting help. Figure it out yourself.
Fuchi Meow Meow is not pink because I'm brown. Roast beef. My Fuchi Meow Meow look like this. Nice taters. Happy I saw you over there and wow, you're a lovely girl and I think you're so adorable. Back off, I don't want you. Because you're 15. Uh-oh. I'm not 15 or 16 or 18. I'm 35. I'm calling off our date. <laughs> you know it's fuck when the pain feel nice she lick her on ice i'm not artistic bullies could an artistic person do this i have my entire life in a spreadsheet basically it tracks everything about my life and what i do also volunteer shows if you post any mean comments it's getting sent directly into this place, and it will stay there forever. So think twice before something. Um, autistic people are, aren't really Omega males. Um, I, and, I'm not autistic, um, as my school psychiatrist said, I'm creative. Um, learn the difference and stop it. Peace, love, Look at this nigga, man. Fucking Monday morning. Nigga shopping and shit. Oh, Look at Monday. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, look, check it out. Check it out. Check this out, motherfucker. You see your mind. You can keep that. Hey. 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 You know? You know? Respect that.